spot, head on over to our website at spacex.com slash rideshare. We are just under five minutes to lift off. Falcon 9 is now moving into the final stages of the countdown. Uh, any moment now, the strong back will begin to open up its clamp. Uh, once open, they will retract away from the rocket to its pre-launch position, about two degrees away from Falcon 9. And as Falcon 9 lifts off, hydraulic arms will pull the strong back farther away uh, to make sure that it is clear during liftoff. Strong back retract has started. And so there was a call out for strong back retract. Uh, you can see the clamp arms just under the fairing start to open up. The strong back is part of the transport erector, also called the TE. Again, its job is to roll Falcon 9 out to the launch pad, raise it to a vertical launch position, route power, fluids, and communication to both the rocket and the satellite. And you can start to hear some of the hissing and popping, and that is pressure venting from the rocket and the plumbing in the transporter erector. So at this stage, the strong back should be uh, reclined to its pre-launch position, two degrees away from Falcon 9. The vehicle remains in good health. The first and second stages are almost done fueling. Um, gaseous oxygen is also vented from the base of Falcon 9. That is the chillin' of the Merlin engine turbo pumps. About a minute before liftoff, you will hear the announcement that Falcon 9 is in startup, which means that the rocket's own internal computers are now autonomously controlling the launch countdown. And just to check quick in on weather, we're still green. The range is standing by to support today's mission. As a reminder, if we don't launch today, we do have a backup opportunity tomorrow at the same time. For those that are just tuning in, on screen is a live view of Falcon 9 uh, at Space Launch Complex 40 off the coast of Florida. We are in the middle of the Transporter 2 mission. This is SpaceX's second dedicated SmallSat rideshare mission. Locks load complete. And there was a call up for second stage locks loading complete. That is the last of propellant load. Falcon 9 is now fully fueled and ready to lift off in about a minute and 40 seconds. This is the eighth time that this booster will be flying today. And a bit later Ground on in the mission, started. we'll also be attempting to recover it for the eighth time. Back at landing zone one. So you can start to see some white clouds forming around Falcon 9. That is normal and expected at this stage in the countdown. That is cold, dense liquid oxygen meeting the warmer ambient air of Florida and starting to condense and form those white clouds that you see on screen. Computers and startup. So we have some excitement here in Hawthorne, but uh, Falcon 9 is no good. We'll hold at 30 seconds of range. Status does not change. Falcon 9 is in startup, and this means that the first and second stages are beginning to pressurize for launch. We're just about 20 seconds away from liftoff. LD, this is RC on countdown range is no go. Repeat range is no go. Hold, hold, hold. And we did hear the call to hold. Give us a second. We're going to check in with the teams and see if we can 
gets more information for you. The countdown hold due to a foul branch. So we did have a hold. It uh, looks like the range was a no-go. There might have been an airplane in the area. We do have a backup opportunity tomorrow, but for today, that's going to do it for us. Uh, hopefully, you'll join us tomorrow for um, uh, the next launch attempt of Transporter 2.